people at an extended stay hotel in Kalamazoo have to make some new arrangements after a fire forced them to relocate. It happened yesterday afternoon at the Days Inn and Suites on Airview Boulevard. The fire marshal is calling it suspicious. News 8's Brittany Flowers is live outside the hotel right now. And Brittany, what can you tell us about the investigation so far? Yeah. Good evening. A total of seven rooms were rented out at the time when the fire broke out. That was around 1.40 yesterday afternoon. You can see the significant damage here. We're on the northeast side of the building, uh, and this is mainly where the fire was contained to, but the building had to be condemned because of how much smoke and water damage it suffered. Kalamazoo Public Safety Marshal, Fire Marshal Scott Brooks tells us the fire started in what would be considered a conference room. By the time crews arrived, flames were coming out of the roof and heavy smoke was filling the air. A couple people even had to break a window to get out and were using bed sheets to climb down to safety. KDPS, Portage, Comstock and Oshtimo Fire all assisted. It took about 90 minutes to get the fire under control. Now it's a matter of figuring out why this fire started in the first place. There should not have been anybody in this area because it's a conference room and there's not any sort of cooking appliances or anything else like that. And we can't rule anything out. Um, there were multiple people on scene that were giving us information. Uh, the information has not been substantiated yet, so there's going to be a lot of follow-up to this due to the fact of this being a large lost fire. I asked Brooks if there's a chance anyone could be charged here. He says anything is possible. He'll spend the better part of the week working with other private fire and guest investigators to try to get to the bottom of exactly what happened here. Now, as for the people who were staying here, the Red Cross was on scene yesterday helping them and providing resources, but hotel management will be working with those guests to make sure they have a new place to stay. Live in Kalamazoo, Brittany Flowers, News 8.